Hey, what's up everyone? Glad you can join me on my first video on YouTube. Today we're gonna be doing uh, some paint matching on my truck. I'll give you guys a walk around of what I got so far on the truck from lift, tires, and wheels. Here's my little walk around on the truck. You know, nothing special. Just my little daily driver. Here, I'll show you all the wheels first. Them 24 by 14s, Tiz 544s. Spent probably like three grand on those. Um, for my tires, she got 35s. You can check out the numbers there. Those are the AMP much rains. Uh, total was probably like 1200 for the tires. I'm really excited how they turned out because this is my first set, so I kind of picked these out of a handful of them and I ended up liking them the most. And my lift, damn, it's dirty under there. Anyways, the lift got the six inch Pro Comp with the Pro Runner SS shocks on them. And let me tell you. Perfect. Just a little shaky, but after the alignment and everything, it all turned out perfect. Not too bad. All right, enough talk about the truck. We'll see more of that later. We gotta get back to paint matching these mirrors here. So I took off one mirror already. Kinda had to look it up on Google real quick, see how I can take it off. Only took three minutes to take it off. Probably like a few nuts and bolts here. Then all I used was a little screw gun Pry opener and tool and a 10 millimeter wrench and it came right off. So I'll show you on the other side how that comes off real easy. So here's the mirror here, already taped up. Just ready for prep. Yeah, it's a little dirty. And the main thing before we even start painting this is gonna be prepping. Sanding, getting all the grease, dirt, grime, all of it, as you can tell. Fingerprints everywhere, getting this texture off the mirror. And then all you do with this is just cover the whole mirror with it, wipe it down, let it dry four to six minutes and then just wipe it clean, and then you can start sanding it down. You wanna use this filler primer, and all it's gonna do is prime this whole thing, and if you look here closely, this little roughness, that'll go away when you're sanding it, then all the other imperfections, that filler is gonna go in there and just make it smooth. No matter what kind of sander you use, you can do hand sanded, or you can use one of those, and pick these up. I recommend the 80 grit to get off that surface there, and then the one you didn't go back with it, it'll give it that smoothness. After you got it prepped, sanded, primed, and then you're ready for paint, we're hitting it with this perfect match, bright white. It's gonna look real nice. All right, so we ran through all of our steps. We got all of our products that we need. So now we're gonna start the work. What you're gonna do is grab your wax guitar remover, pour it on your cloth. It does come out a little watery. So you have to be careful not to pour so much. And then you're just gonna wipe it all over. So you get a whole surface cover. So just got done with the first round of sanding. See how it's totally different now? How it's a matte color? That's exactly what you're looking for. Here, I know there's a few spots I miss. Let's see if you can find one. Kind of right there, how it's still a little shiny. You want this whole thing to be a matte color. Turn it around for you. See that? All of it, miss a spot there. But this is basically how you want to get it. Just a matte, just like this. So I went ahead and did that second round of sanding. So now it's all matted out. Throw that out. We're gonna put us the 180 grit on there now. And this is what's just gonna make it smooth. So when you put this uh, filler primer on, once you get done, it'll all be smoothed out. Just toss that on there. All right, so I'm gonna hit a time-lapse video on the filler primer for the mirrors, and we're gonna wait 10 minutes for them to dry. All right, then I'm gonna do maybe three, maybe four coats of this primer here, see how it turns out. But I'm gonna do 10 minutes in between, let it dry out in this. All right, last coat of primer just went on. Just got through sanding it and wiping it down. So now it's all ready for paint. 
smooth, and it's ready. Now I'm gonna sit here and let this just dry out for about 10 minutes and then we're gonna come back and spray it again. But that was good. That clear coat would definitely make it pop more. Still gotta do a couple more coats but then I can uh, spray that clear coat on there. But shoot, so far, things real nice and white. Look at that. You know, a couple spots, but we can fix that there. That ain't nothing. So I know there's different types of clear gloss that you can use, but this is the one that I'm gonna choose for now. And then with maybe the other projects I got with the bumper, the grill, and uh, the headlights possibly, we'll see what kind of clear coat works the best. So after hours and hours of prepping, sanding, and repainting, you can finally hit up the clear coat on these mirrors. Another clear coat, but it's done. Now that we can make it towards the end of the day, put the mirror back on, screw it all up. I think it looks pretty good. Not bad. Probably have to do a little bit of buffing and whatnot, but I think it's good. Oh yeah, now I gotta do the next mirror.